Okay. So for that, there are two terminologies that which we'll talk about. One is the confidence level, and another is the confidence interval. Have we ever heard of this in the past? Has anybody got an idea between confidence yes. level and confidence interval? Yes. So generally, yeah. So, uh, in case of when we are doing sampling, and we have the data uh, of population, we know the population mean that for population for a given population, this is the mean. Then uh, we take out the sample from the population. So we check whether that mean of the sample is falling within a range of the uh, within a range of the mean uh, mean of the population sample. So suppose that population sample is 50. Uh, population mean is 50, and we are saying a confidence interval of 10%. so we will accept mean of sample uh, plus minus 10% of the uh, population mean so if it is 50 then plus the 5 10% would be 55 and uh, minus 10% would be 40, uh, say 45 so we will accept in the range of 45 to 55 and what is confidence level that is 100 minus the, the confidence interval you want if uh, if you are targeting Actually, okay, confidence level is something like how confident you are that uh, uh, you know the data from the sample is representative of the actual population. So, if I say I'm ninety-five percent confident, that means that I'm ninety-five percent confident that uh, the the uh, sample is representative of the uh, of the whole population. Okay. Uh, Simar, just a question here. the confidence interval is it also called a proportion defective confidence interval is also called uh, the margin of error as well yeah if yeah. that what you are referring to yeah that it, is it, yeah it's I, a term which is called a proportion defective that we normally use okay okay proportion defective yeah yeah I mean, so it, it's it's actually if you don't have historical data you go with a 50% uh, proportion defective and yeah, if yeah. you actually have historical data then you take the actual uh, defect rate okay okay Great, great. I wasn't aware of that. Thank you. So uh, let me let me explain it to uh, everyone uh, the difference between confidence level and confidence interval, and how these two terminologies help me to arrive to a right sample size, which I should be taking into consideration. Because if I have a thousand population, I cannot assume that how much sample size should I take. There is a formula. There is a technique. Uh, there is a tool. which would help us to calculate that how much sample size i'll have to take which would be able to represent my population so that is what we are doing this for to calculate the right sample size on which we will be able to do the analysis uh, because as you all agree that uh, doing the analysis on the entire population sometimes is not very viable because of some factors so that's why we are doing this So let's talk about confidence level and con confidence interval first, and I think all of you have summarized it well. Confidence level basically talks about how much confident, how much accurate I am towards the data that I have taken against the sample. Okay. So for example, if my population mean, we'll take an example of anything. So let's take a let's take an example that if my Uh, population mean of the cycle time, okay, is three hundred minutes. Okay, now I cannot do the analysis of entire stuff. I can do the sampling. I can do only sampling. Now I want to be very very closer to three hundred. Because I just use the Excel to make you understand so that you can see what I'm saying also. So let's take an example. The population mean of turnaround time is let's say three hundred minutes. Okay, but now due to some constraints, I cannot do the analysis on the entire population. Let's say population is twenty thousand data points. So these are my data points. This is my CTQ or the metric. state okay <clears throat> my sample mean of turn around time let's say if i have taken 300 samples which is representing to 20000 now i want to be accurate that this 
should be very very close to this average so if it is let's say 200 do you think it's a right sample size that i've taken the right amount of sample size that i've taken no there's a lot of variation 300 minutes and 200 minutes which means i have not done the stratified sample two reasons either i have not done the right sampling or i have not taken the right sample size there could be two issues that i have there could there couldn't be any other issue there could be only two issue either i have done the wrong sampling second i have not taken the right amount of sample size here so either two of them is in there in order to get and if this is a scenario here i would call this as a sampling error in the case of a sampling error okay but in the same situation if i get a mean of around 290 you would you would still be content with it because on a sampling of 20000 you are representing only 300 what would be your your reaction against this what would you say 290 is, is representing the right sample you would still say it is okay okay so this is kind of okay okay sir so now if i come with 310 here against 300 you would also say okay correct yeah yeah what i have done i have given here a confidence interval of plus minus i said your population mean is 300 minutes which is representing 20000 data point which is your population okay but now i cannot do 20000 i am doing only 300 but in 300 if i get the mean between 290 to 310 i said i have taken a confidence interval of plus minus 10 this is what is called a confidence interval are we clear with confidence interval yeah the margin of error the margin of it is also known as margin of error which says that i can live with plus minus 10% error or plus minus 10 error that is called margin of error or confidence interval okay so now we have understood what is confidence interval okay now we'll talk about confidence level confidence level means how much confident i am if i have taken 300 if i have cal if i have calculated 300 instead of 290 how much confident i am whether i am 95% confident whether i am 99% con confident that how much i'll be able to interpret that is the confidence level that is the 95% or 99% or 99.5% okay the difference between confidence interval and confidence level is confidence level tells me how much confident i am against the population and the sampling mean and confidence interval tells me the output that i am arriving how much error i can live with okay that is what is confidence level and confidence but uh, can we say that okay so i if i have a confidence level of 95% so is it accurate to say that i am 95% sure that uh, let's say 290 minutes is the mean of the sample so i can say that 290 minutes plus minus the confidence interval is representative of the actual population mean absolutely absolutely you have said okay. it right you have said it right Got okay it. is it clear to all of you it is this is a very very important discussion if you have any sort of doubt anything which is there in your mind between confidence interval and confidence level please speak up please use your example and to understand yes so uh, if the population mean is 300 and confidence uh, interval is plus minus 10% so we will accept the mean sample mean if it is within 10, plus minus 10 of the population mean so if population mean is 300 then the sample means should be in the range of 290 and 310 is that the right uh, yes yes absolutely absolutely 
because now I'm comparing the population mean with the sample mean. I, if with the help of confidence, confidence level is also known as precision, just another term. Yes, sir. 